Today, Precarious plays Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Eh, I don't know. This one looks a little intestinal to me. Oh, why did you say that? I mean, it's probably just rocks. No, but... that does not look like a healthy colon. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe arterial. It looks... Oh, and now it's got, like, ribs? It looks like an inside of a, of a critter. And yeah. I'm not happy to have to traverse it. I don't know. Most of the time, the critter insides are, like, delightfully pink. Well, it's an unhealthy critter. Okay, well, I'll buy that. This critter has... It's got some... It ate too much Chipotle. Ooh... Oh, man. What? <sighs> Look at all the little energy details. That's nice. I feel that burrito bowls are one of the finest available foods. And now I want one. Despite the context. It is different. Oh, so it's a tiny one. Man, I'm glad that I thought to scan it. Like something just... Something struck me. It just didn't seem... The same. I thought that maybe I'd encountered, like, the Dark World version of the blog before. But that didn't seem right either. Well, whatever. What matters, what counts... Is that the fork... Is one of my numbers went up. Yay. Speaking of numbers go up, Mountain Blade... Um, is, it, is it Mountain Blade 2, Banner Lord? I'm not sure if it's... I'm not sure if it got a number affixed to it or not. Um, it's been in development for like a long time. Yeah. And the developers gave it an official release date, which is in just a couple of months. And it's been like a couple of years since I last played it. Yeah. So I was like, oh, well, I'll do that thing that I like to do with early access games sometimes where I'll like, I'll play it now. And then whenever they do like a, the, the big release, then I can play it again. And it's like playing not like two games, but like one and a half games. Yeah. You know, because you get like that final like before and after shot. Yeah. I do that with book series. Uh, it's not quite the same, but... I'm a little bit worried. Oh. Yeah. Are you worried that you're going to get 1.1 games instead of 1.5 games? That is an excellent summary. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there are... So, like, most annoying... Just, just off of the top of my head. Uh... I... There are features that are hinted at and referenced, and at the very least, I hope that they, like, remove those before, like, al alongside a larger release. Mm -hmm. Astute players that have been following development for a long time will probably still be agitated, but at least you won't have, like, this huge wave of people that are like, oh, God, like, I kind of don't want to give any examples, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, because then it's then it's like, I've I've revealed the deception. It's mm. it, uh, what, you want what's to it called? preserve the it's deception. The, the, the Streisand hand effect. Uh, never heard of that. I'm pretty sure the Streisand hand effect. It's like trying to hide information. You end up um, popularizing it. Like, I'm pretty sure that... Like, as in the Barbara Streisand? Yeah, she was a photo... Somebody uh, for, like, an unrelated project, I think, posted a, a photo of her home, like, in uh -huh. the early the early 2000s or the late 90s, I think. Yeah. And she tried to... Somebody tried to suppress it, right? And by trying to suppress it, it got attention that made it impossible to suppress. Right. Okay, I don't remember that happening, but I understand the phenomenon. Phenomenon. No, no, no. Hey, no. Don't Sorry. pull me into your I was, I was trying to wrap up my nanas 
so that we could keep moving. So, yeah. You don't want to give examples of the mountain blade problems. Right, hold on. You know what I'm realizing? Ooh. That's like not too far off. I mean, it's too small, but that's not too far off from a Reaper Leviathan. So I feel like this just lends weight to the idea that Samus would uh, clean house oh. in Subnautica. Oh, yeah. I And I think, wreck shop. I think that it might not even be that like we could probably get together enough power to hurt and ruin a reaper leviathan in the game but i think that it has everything to do with the presence of the sense uh, um, <clears throat> actually in subnautica i now i think you can use the drill i think you can use the drill arm and like the stasis rifle to to murder a reaper leviathan but I think even then it still takes a really long time just because, like, the developers really don't want you to do that. Mm. You know? Yeah, man. Oh, uh, hmm. Those developers for Subnautica... Yeah. Those They're sons of bitches. <laughs> yeah? Like, I'm convinced now... Like, yeah. I was having such a good time. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I, I, no. <laughs> we have reached the point where I don't like it. We have to go down too mm -hmm. far. Everything is trying to kill you. Everything. And instead of swimming around, the box that keeps you safe sinks. Yeah, you really hate that. I hate it. It's pointless. What is the point of being underwater if you do not craft something that takes advantage <clears throat> of the buoyancy for her mobility? It's like nobody's putting. Look, even the turtles float in the water. Okay. I feel like it would be a little challenging to have a mining device that floats. That that seems like it would be no rough. No. I disagree. You just have to have something that can anchor itself. Or the mining device needs to be a laser instead of a mechanical process. Okay, you got me there. That's that it. Is the yeah, and also, shut up. Um, <laughs> we print food out of weird fishes that we punch in the face? <laughs> no, fuck you. Okay. Well, I can have whatever I want, and what they gave me is not what I wanted. <laughs> It's a game. Uh, it's yeah. it's a game and They could have done anything that they wanted to. Why did they do that? Yeah, yeah. Like and it's not even like what I'm asking for would not fit within you know the canon of the game. It's like no, we have the avocado. Just strap a beam on the avocado and give it better shielding. You know? Yeah. What is the avocado's actual? It's a sea moth. The sea moth. Right. Sometimes they accidentally conflate the sea moth and sea glide. So instead of the prawn, or I confused, just want to confuse the name. I want a sea boss. <laughs> so we have the sea moth, and then we get the sea boss upgrade pack. And the sea boss has arms, and one of which is a drill. Okay. Easy, easy. See, I just invented it. I did so much work. Pay me money. Like, so annoying. Like, you wouldn't have to do anything. You wouldn't have to do anything. Like, the camera, the cockpit, everything would be the same. In fact, I think it's harder what they did. It's more difficult what they did to suddenly introduce gravity. That, well, I mean, no, because uh, they probably... You do walk around on the ground right. outside some. Yeah, right? they, they probably use that as the base. Ick. You know, I, I, um, it's interesting. I wonder if it's if it's the same in 3D. I've never done any programming in 3D, mm -hmm. but it's interesting how like movement stuff works in like 2D games. Yeah. Because it works just by like it's just addition, basically. 
Like whenever you are, although that probably wouldn't work that way for, uh, gravity for downward movement. Um, so whenever you are like playing Mario and you are pressing right on the D-pad to move right. Yeah. You are really just usually like adding, pressing and holding right on the D-pad just increments uh, like a, an X value. By like one or two or five or whatever. Yeah, and then it's really just sort of like how sophisticated do you want it to be? Do you want to like set up some sort of timer to where, like I think that that's how Mario works usually is it's like it accelerates a little bit over time. So whenever you first start holding it down, it's like, we're gonna increment this by two. And then after three increments, you increment it by four. Right. And then you just keep keep doing that until you're up at top speed. I feel like we got way off topic. Do you remember what we were talking about? Nope, but tomorrow we're gonna talk about Kirby. I hate this. 